The Banished Armada, under the command of Eskrim, is prepped and willing to fight the UNSC, or defend their territory, and so the troops will need transport to quickly take over any location. From Mega and Halo, this is the Banished Phantom. This set was a long time coming, probably the most requested banished vehicle from Halo Infinite, and I'm so glad Mega decided to finally pull it off, especially since one of my favorite older sets was the original Phantom. I'm a fan of big troop carriers. The set includes three tan base plates, one in transparent red, two sets of flare effects you can leave separated or combine. They do attach to a few of the weapons included. A clip is included for weapon storage, but there's a spare you can also use. There's a rocket launcher in gray, an assault rifle with ammo counter in gray, a shock rifle in light gray, a mangler in gray with moving drum, a ravenger in gray, an old scattered energy sword in transparent red, and a gravity hammer in transparent red. Hey, Peter! Look at this. It's the actual Spartan Griffin and not just a Halo Heroes wannabe. I think the softer dark gray works against the darker undersuit and details of the modern articulated Mark 7. Love the helmet, but seeing what he's against, man, he was screwed in the game and now this. The only one who didn't get a name, so I'ma call him Taco. But this is a banished brute captain, similar to the one from a Mongoose set, also in red with pointed helmet, but this with the modern articulation features more gray on the kilt, chest, and helmet. The set includes the premiere of the Wicked Elite Hunter Blademaster Jaga Radomni, and this gives a scary vibe with its pure black armor and blood red paint on the sharp edges. The chest might be a little too subtle on the paint, but I think I like that more. Despite no wrist joint, the robot elbow still functions normally along with the rest of the joints. I love the segmented head with removable cover. It doesn't feel restricted, and the new parts are amazing to work with, including the thigh armor, chest, head, and scared effect on the signature bladed arm. Then there's the second version of Escargo, and this time representing his holographic self so he can bully Chief in Zoom calls. It looks good with the unique chest, but here I thought it was just going to be completely transparent red. Instead, there's a milky pink color to fill the lines on the extensive collarbone-like armor, facial hair, and banished symbol on the forehead. As well, there's dark red paint in certain details throughout the body, which needs to happen more often. I feel like crediting Brickman117 for this somehow. It's about time we got the Banished Phantom. It was my top most wanted set I wanted Mega to create. That, and I'm still waiting on the Banished Wraith. The Covenant Phantom was one of my favorites, so to see a return is wonderful. Is it perfect? No. Am I glad to own it? Certainly. I feel some elements are too clean, like the side doors, but the weird shape is what saves it. And I love the disjointed armor look on the front, akin to those Halo Wars 2 sets like the Banshee. The Gunmetal and Silver both work against the red, and despite the redesigned elements, you can still tell this is a phantom. What with the fins on the back where the bottom can be adjusted and the fixed turbine sticking out. The center fin is on the hinge but there's no movement. It might not be as big as the Pelican but I don't mind how it turned out because it's still pretty large. I will say I wish the set included more troopers as this is a large troop transport by nature but I guess the garrison pack comes in handy. Funny enough I never felt the build was tedious with the exception of building the opposite side of a large section but after working on the first it was a breeze. However there there are a few large panels that could have been better secured. Not a lot of prints, but I like how most of it is brick based. The entire thing stands on four cylinders, but as long as you hold the body, it seems solid. There's a hole at the bottom for figures to come down from, and a trap door for a gunner to pop out, which I didn't even know existed, so that was a cool surprise. It's loose by design, but you can't close the trap door on it. The canopy opens, which does require even more space, but it seems simple enough. You can't put a brute captain in to pilot, and the vehicle has handles and a console. Just know you might warp the rubber kilt. You can have another figure command behind him, as well the side doors open on three panels. The mill has a turret with firing projectile that can pop out for a figure to use, but there's no rotation. The sides have spare projectiles and extra pegs for figures to stand. With these open, you can pop out the middle and swing out the sides for full access to the interior. I'm gonna say, as simple as the details are, I think this is an improvement on the original for a number of reasons. The old Phantom used tiles, so if you played with it, figures would fall over or perhaps shoot through the hole. But this uses mostly pegs to secure them. Even with it open, the sides look like walls, and there's no beams over top letting your hand freely work inside with no hesitation. I think the best part is the table to display the hologram with a printed console. I thought this could be an issue for closing it, but if you store the gravity hammer low enough on the clip, there's space to fit his head and the hammer fits 
gets behind, so there's no concerns. Also, there's a few extra clips to store the weapons. So is this a perfect set? No, but is that a bad thing? Some stability issues and empty greebling aside, the figures are amazing and the vehicle stands out as a large banished vehicle. Don't know about you, but I'm glad to own it. This video is brought to you by Boss Brickster. Check out the site, socialize with fellow Mega Constructs fans, and even redeem points from the website for Mega Constructs products. Check out the affiliate link down in the description below.